running through the techniques when you're executing the movement. That once you commit to the movement, it should be seamless and flow fluidly all the way through from the initiation of the step to the counter and back to the step. Hey, without getting hit. Today we're going over the evasive step to kick counter. Hey guys, this is Coach Victor from the Thai Box Institute of Mar Vista, California. And today we're gonna go over how to evade an attack and counter with either a knee or a kick. Learning to move backwards is crucial to being a complete Thai box. This gives you another dimension to countering as you're moving backwards, rather than just limiting yourself to attacking as you're moving forward. Let's go ahead and let's take a look on how that looks, the evasive step to knee or kick counter. First technique we're gonna go over is evasive step, countering with the right knee. We're gonna start here in our fight stance, hands up, chin down. I'm gonna imagine an opponent taking a step towards me. I wanna time their step with my own step. Their forward step is gonna be my back leg moving, which is gonna be an evasive step. My back leg moves, my left leg follows. He bases that, let's look at that again. I want you to pay attention to my back leg because that's what's gonna be the cue for me to attack using my knee. I'm gonna start off here in our fight stance. I'm gonna take my evasive step back as my opponent moves forward. Once I feel my weight shift and my momentum go to my rear leg, I'm gonna use that as a spring forward to counter with my right knee. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. How do we use the evasive step to launch a counter attack? for the switch side. It's gonna be the same thinking. I'm gonna take a evasive step, left leg, right leg follows. And once I feel my weight shift, I'm gonna use that momentum to switch my stance and count over with my left knee. Let's check it out. So I'm gonna start in my fight stance. Hands up, chin down. I'm gonna visualize my opponent standing in front of me. As they take a step forward, I'm gonna take a step back. Once I feel my weight shift, I switch stance, left knee, back to stance. Let's look at that again slowly. Step, slide, switch, left knee, back to stance. Both the movement for the right knee and the left knee should be as seamless as possible. From the basic step, the execution of the knee, to you being back to stance, should be one fluid movement. Throw these techniques five times each, alternating between the rear and the switch side for a total of a three minute round. If you have the space for it, when you're moving backwards, keep going until you run out of space. Otherwise, you can just do this in position in place, standing still. Remember, it's the back leg that's gonna keep you balanced in position and ready to spring and fire your counter. Also, make sure when you're running through the techniques when you're executing the movement. That once you commit to the movement, it should be seamless and flow fluidly all the way through from the initiation of the step to the counter and back to the step. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. To film yourself, tag us at the Thai Box Institute. We'll use the hashtag TBI Home Workout and I'll critique your technique. I promise I'll be nice. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.